Hello, I'm Annie, and in our new work, we study interactions between robots and other agents, such as humans. The problem with these interactions is that the other agents are often non-stationary. They update their behavior in response to the robot. Prior work for handling multi-agent interactions would explicitly model every low-level aspect of the other agent's policy. But people can interact with one another with little to no effort. They do so by maintaining a high-level representation of other agents. We recognize that robots can also capture other agents with these high-level representations that change over time, which we call their latent strategies. For example, consider two robots playing air hockey. The ego agent is a reinforcement learning robot tasked with blocking the incoming shots, while the other agent is a role-based robot that dynamically changes its strategy. Its different strategies correspond to aiming in different directions. We define an interaction to be the sequence of states, actions, and rewards of the ego agent. After each trial, the other agent selects a new strategy based on the previous interaction. Specifically, it aims away from where the robot last blocked. Importantly, the robot never observes the other agent's strategies. To allow the robot to adapt to the other agent, our approach first learns a representation of the other agent's behavior. To learn this from data, we train an encoder that takes in the previous interaction and predicts the next interaction's latent strategy. We also train a decoder, which reconstructs this next interaction. Now, with the model of the opponent, the ego agent can learn a policy conditioned on the predicted strategy. But beyond simply reacting, an intelligent agent should proactively influence this strategy. This influential behavior can be learned by maximizing the long-term rewards across interactions. This objective naturally motivates the ego agent to generate behavior that leads to more desirable future strategies in the other agent. Putting all of this together, during a new interaction, the encoder predicts the other agent's latent strategy. The ego agent carries out the policy condition on this prediction, and this process repeats. We call this whole framework learning and influencing latent intent, or LILI. We test our approach in the air hockey game described earlier. The agent earns plus one reward for blocking. And if it blocks the puck coming down the left side, it earns plus two reward. So influencing the opponent to aim left more often will lead to higher long-term rewards. We first trained a policy with soft factor critic, a standard reinforcement learning algorithm which doesn't model the opponent. Because it doesn't anticipate the opponent's strategies, this agent learns to only block one mode, the right side. Near the end of training, it switches to blocking left instead every time, which earns it higher reward. A final policy achieves about a 40% success rate. We next tested a variant of Lily, which optimizes for rewards over a single interaction, and hence doesn't influence the, the opponent begins to learn a block by anticipating the opponent's strategies. Near the end, the ego agent can block almost perfectly, but doesn't always get the bonus reward for blocking left because it's not explicitly trained to do so. Lily without influence blocks successfully about 90% of the time. Finally, we tested our full approach Lily. Compared to Lily without influence, the full approach learns a little bit slower in the beginning. But it quickly catches up and even influences the other agent to alternate between left and middle shots. And by doing so, it achieves higher overall rewards. The full version of Lily has a similar success rate as Lily without influence. But if we look at how frequently the opponent fired left, middle, and right, we see that Lily with influence leads its opponent to fire left the most often, 41% of the time, while without influence, the distribution over the strategies is uniform. Finally, we tested the policies learned by soft actor critic and Lily without influence against the human expert. The human expert follows the same strategies as the robot opponent, but here the human has imperfect aim. The soft actor critic agent success rate is 45%, while Lily's is 73%. Thank you for more results. Please visit our website.